guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is march 26 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here video shows diddy's house trashed after raid calls case a witch I'm gonna skip that name there guys follow me on this one the platform is really strict all right so once again uh, video just came out and uh, I will share the video on my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out um, they really trashed his place look at this they even opened up the safe got the safe open there's a possibility uh, yeah they probably had a what I believe they call Diddy and asking for the pen for the safe and um, but uh, yeah they trashed everything they were looking for something I don't know what's going on guys but uh, again there's a lot of information coming out uh, a lot of people saying that Diddy is on the run other people saying that he was uh, he was seen somewhere in Miami Florida and I did watch the video it doesn't even look like him it just you know how you know so, uh, some people out there look like celebrities. Well, that's what this dude looked like, kind of a uh, you know uh, wanna be puff daddy, put it like that. Um, so some people really don't like when I talk about this uh, breaking news, and it's very important to talk about this. All right, it's again so many young ones are disappearing in you know various places. If you guys know what I mean. Um, and there's been a lot of uh, information coming out that these young ones are being uh, put in um, in a bus and being taken to certain you know regions, people that have a lot of you know what. So it's very important to talk about this. All right, so it's very important to uh, talk about this. It's very important to pray for these young ones. So uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. You get the Army. Army of Federal Law Enforcement Officer did a number on Diddy Los Angeles home. The Army. They had armies in there. Man. And the video shows clearly the mansion was turned upside down. Once again, the news has obtained footage of the aftermath on Monday's raid on Didi's um, home. And basically all the uh, the bedrooms everywhere is just completely trashed. So it says, uh, once again, you got all this ripped open, belongings scattered about, documents strewn about, and safes broken into. So you have a safe there. Agent had a field day with Diddy's electronic equipment. You see pieces of computer and other equipment and pieces on the floor. It's clear agent zeroed in on hard drives, which were seized during the raid. My goodness. Wow. And you know who's uh who they talking about too? LeBron James. LeBron James. Uh, they talking about LeBron is always with uh, Diddy, always hanging out with him. Uh, but it doesn't mean that LeBron might have some connection with this issue here. But uh, again, they calling out Jay Z and so many others. I mean, it just uh, uh. J Lo is like, do not call me or messes me. <laughs> so. Anybody that knows Diddy, it seems like it just mm -mm, there's gonna be certain investigation. Put it like that. Look at this one here, guys. Look at this. Look at that picture. So Diddy is now speaking out. Oh, okay. So he's speaking out via his reps about the two raids, and they're claiming loud and clear he's being railroaded by the G O V. Something is going on. Man, look at that. They really trashed 
his place. It says here, the hip hop uh, attorney Aaron tells TM, you know what, TMZ, yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Cobb's residence and there is no excuse for the extensive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his young ones and employee were treated. Wow. Look at this picture. Look at this one. He adds, Mr. Combs was never, he was never cuffed, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been cuffed, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. So he's never been cuffed. All right, so... Those are the armies. Dreyer goes on. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated news presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Cobes. Again, Sean Diddy. It's nothing more than a witch. I'm going to skip that name. Based on uh, Merrillist accusation made in civil lawsuits. Mm -mm. Dyer underscores there has been no finding of lawlessness or civil liability with any of these allegations. Sean is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Wow. The statement comes a day after major drama for Sean and his inner circle who were under a microscope Monday as Federal A stormed his L.A. estate and his Star Island home in Miami. Hmm. You guys already know this happened. As we reported, Homeland Security agents came in and ready sweeping through the grounds of his property and hauling many out, including his two young ones, King and Justin. Sources with direct knowledge tell uh, the news agent pointed lasers at the two before cuffing them and dragging them outside the house. Neither were cuffed. Wow. Once again, the news has confirmed that these raids pertain to a investigation that Sean is at the center of, which stems from allegation of, look at that, soliciting and disturbing and other stuff. Guys, I'm going to skip these names here. Again, I don't want to get hit too hard by this platform. They're really strict. It appears that the... The feds got some of the info that led to the raids from people who recently filed lawsuit against Sean. Now, this is the one. This is the one I saw yesterday. All right. So this uh, this video was going around yesterday, and this is Miami, in Miami. So yeah, he's. He was uh, walking back and forth with a cigarette on his hand. Man, he was, um, yeah, he, he was stressed out. Give me a second here, guys. It says here, at this point, we told his movement are uh, unrestricted. He is not charged with any crime, at least yet. And it's not under... You know what? He's not cuffed. 
All right, so that's uh, that's the breaking news updates. So he's here. He's in Miami, I assume. Uh, his plane is somewhere in the Caribbean. Maybe there's a possibility. Maybe his loved ones, the families are there just in case to be, you know, just send him in a safe, uh, safe spot. Um, but uh, again, he's not cuffed. And uh, they're trying to figure out what's really going on here. There's a possibility, maybe because of that incident of that woman. And he had to pay, uh, I don't know how much he paid, 30 million, something like that. Maybe there's a possibility, uh, you know, she might have gave something to the F-E-D-S. So, I'm going to keep you updated on this one here, guys. And again, it's very important to talk about this. Especially, we have uh, all these information about young ones uh, being used for certain things, which is an abomination. Uh, that's what our scripture tells us. You know, Jesus command us to take care of these young ones, to take care of these young ones. But sometimes, again, there's certain, you know, who dark forces evil in them that do bad things to young ones and that's the reason why he's on that uh he's on that list there's a possibility he might have you know there's certain things to uh these young ones and it's not only him there's a whole bunch of them there's a whole bunch of them anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh i'm gonna keep you updated on this story make sure you share the video for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.